Okay, today on your five-minute room rescue, we're going to talk about giving yourself a little bit of grace. Here we go, five minutes. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, I mean something very simply. You all know what you want to get done, and we all know that everything that we want to do doesn't always happen. So give yourself the grace that you're not going to get it done. Because we all have that huge to-do list. And it's okay if it doesn't all get done. Once you prioritize things that need to get done by a certain date, on a certain date, those are the ones you want to start with first. Giving yourself the grace to understand that life can happen and things can happen will help you get through to the point that it's okay. It doesn't matter if everything gets done. Life still needs to be lived. And sitting here cleaning all day is not living life. It is just being boring. Yeah, I said it. That is why we do these routines so we can get our self-cleaning home. So that way we don't have to spend the entire day sitting there cleaning. I mean, there's much more important things to do. Even if it's just sitting down watching your kid play Minecraft, which I'm doing as I'm talking to you. Um, Those things are the important things. Sitting and reading a book with your kid, that's the important thing. You know, yes, I know we still need to do the windows today, the floor and all that. We need to do our weekly home blessing today. But right now, as I'm sitting here doing this, I am watching him play Minecraft enjoying it, watching it glitch out and everything like that. So giving yourself the grace and understanding to know that it's okay if you don't get everything done in that moment. Right. It took you a while to get to the spot and where you're at. Now, if you've been working at this for a little while, start and think where you began. What has changed? And don't just sit there and automatically say nothing, okay? Really think about where you're at. Even if you've achieved something and then it's fallen back or slid a little bit, you still achieved it at least once, which means you can achieve it again. So giving yourself the grace to understand that, number one, you're human. Number two, life happens. I mean, there is a huge saying out there that we plan and God laughs. Well, okay, think about that for a second. We sit here and we come up with these grandiose plans, and I guarantee you every single time you plan something, something else comes up, and what you have planned does not happen. Or at least we'll say 90% of the time. You know, so give yourself that grace to understand it's okay. You will get to it. As you keep following the routines and keep following these simple little tips and tricks and hints that I give you, you will get there. Getting rid of the I can't will help you immensely. Having that growth mindset, uh, Jacek's teacher talked a lot about that last year. It's not I can't, it's I don't know how yet, or I will be able to. Keeping that growth mindset instead of that sedentary mindset because you want to know that things can change. If you keep telling yourself you can't, I guarantee you, you won't be able to. No matter how minute the problem is or minute the project is, if you say you can't, you won't. If you say you will, then you'll be able to work towards it. You know, I had a client the other day who was going on and on about what they hadn't done and just skimmed over the stuff that they did do. It's like, focus on that part. Give yourself the grace to understand that some projects also are bigger than other projects. So that was very cool, Jacek. So it's going to take you longer with some of them. Knowing that if you just sit down and do it, it will get done. Stopping that procrastination mindset. Making sure that 
if you know something needs to be done, you either get it written down right away or go do it right away, depending upon how much time it's going to take. If it takes less than two minutes, do it now. All right, there you go. Give yourself grace and know that it will be okay. I'll talk to you tomorrow about stopping and looking.